reviewing an e EEG, make sure you also look at the ECG lead. This last channel here, this is the ECG lead. And what you want to identify is if there is any cardiac arrhythmia which can potentially account for the loss of consciousness that your patient experiences. A first degree heart block is defined as an increase in PR interval more than 200 milliseconds. So a PR interval ranges from the beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex. Let's look at the intervals of the PR, inter, uh, PR interval over here. So starting beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex, it is 398 milliseconds. So this is a first degree hard block. Let's look at the subsequent PR interval beginning from here to here. You can see that it goes on to 422 milliseconds. And over here, from the beginning here to the beginning of the QRS complex, it goes to 484 milliseconds. So the PR interval here is progressively increasing and it keeps increasing to a point. So right here, the PR interval increases to 461 milliseconds before on a subsequent cycle after the P wave there is no longer a QRS complex so there is a drop in the conduction of the P wave and this is a second degree hard block so when there is a drop in the QRS complex after a subsequent increase in PR intervals we call it a second degree hard block and this particular type of second degree hard block is called a Mobitz 1 hard block. So it's important to keep an eye on the ECG channel. I would let you discuss the read on the significance of this type of uh, conduction block. But if a person has a complete AV dissociation or a sick sinus syndrome uh, or if there are episodes where multiple P waves are not transmitting through the AV node, you need to ca consult a cardiologist and wonder if this patient requires a pacemaker. So your answer may not be in the brain, it may be in the heart. Make sure you do look at the ECG before reporting an EEG. Thank you.